welcome to our new episode today we will be learning how to factorize the given equation within two steps factorization you would have learned in your class but this easy method of factorization will help you in your exams these type of factorizations we can use and we can find the roots easily it is useful in your 8 9 10 classes also in your competitive exams now let us start this is the actual method we learn in our school now let us see the trick let us take the first question p square plus 6p plus 8 look at this 8 8 is a constant and we know how to find the factors for a constant that is natural numbers now take 8 and find out the factors what are its factors 8 ones are 8 if you add or subtract 8 and 1 will you get the 6 no Je- then let us think of other number it is 2 fours are 8 so if we add this 2 and 4 we will get surely 6 so now write the letter first and write the numbers here p plus 2 and p plus 4 since we are adding it we wrote it as plus plus 2 and plus 4 now look at the next question it is x square minus 8x plus 12 now take 12 and find its factors what are its factors 12 ones are 12 so i have written that then 4 threes are 12 then 6 twos are 12 okay if we add or subtract will we get 8 no 4 plus 3 or 4 minus 3 no 6 plus 2 or 6 minus 2 yes when we add 6 and 2 we will get 8 but we need minus 8 so what we have to do we are going to write minus 6 and minus 2 if we add minus 6 and minus 2 we will get minus 8 same way if we multiply minus 6 and minus 2 we will get plus 12 so our factors are with minus 6 and minus 12 how to write write the variable first x and minus 6 and then x minus 2 so the factors are x minus 6 and x minus 2 in the previous examples we saw x square as one as its coefficient now look at this one here it is 4 4 x square minus 20 x plus 25 what we have to do is multiply this 4 with 25 we will get 100 so we are going to find the factors for 100 here So what are the factors? Hundred, once a hundred, fifty, twos a hundred, twenty-five, fours are hundred, and ten, tens a hundred. Now we are going to check whether these numbers if we add or subtract will we get 20 yes let us check after checking all numbers i found only 10 and 10 will give you 20 yes if we add 10 and 10 will get 20 but we should get minus 20 so what we have to do if we 
add minus 10 and minus 10 we will get minus 20. Also if we multiply minus 10 with minus 10 we will get plus 100. So only this is possible. Now we cannot directly write this factors because we have a coefficient 4. So what we are going to do is take this 10 and divide this 10 by 4. 10 by 4 will give you 5 by 2 and the next factor is also 10 by 4 that also will be 5 by 2. Now how to write this? Since 2 is the denominator that is we got after dividing the coefficient 4 write as 2x minus since I left there I am writing minus now and minus 5. The numerators is written to the next of the variable 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5 will give you 2x minus 5 the whole square. Yes. Our next question is 4x square minus 4x minus 3. Here look at this x as x square as 4 as its coefficient. So what we have to do? We have to multiply this 4 with 3. Plus 4 into minus 3 will give you minus 12. So now let us find the factors for 12. The factors I have written here 3 and 4 which is not possible. 6 and 2 only that is possible if we add minus 6 and plus 2 will get minus 4. So this is the factor. Now what we have to do? We have to divide the coefficient of 4 with this 6 and 2. So 6 by 4 minus 6 by 4 and plus 2 by 4 will give you minus 3 by 2 and plus 1 by 2. Look at the denominator it is 2. We write it as 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 1. Next question is 4n square minus 4n minus 3. Here we are going to multiply 4 and 3 we will get minus 12. 12 ones are 12, 4 threes are 12 and 6 twos are 12. Here only 6 twos are 12 is possible. Why? Because if we subtract 6 and 2 we will get 4. Since 4 is in minus sign we have to have the minus sign for the greater number. So minus 6 plus 2 will give you minus 4. Then minus 6 into plus 2 will give you minus 12. So we are going to take 6 minus 6 and plus 2. Divide this by 4. When you are dividing by 4, we will get minus 3 by 2 and when you are dividing here we will get 1 by 2. So our factors are write the denominator with the variable. It became 2n and then the numerator minus 3. Minus 3 and 2n plus 1. 2n minus 3 and 2n plus 1. Why do we write here it as 2n? Because when we divided the factors by the coefficient of n square that is 4, we got it as 2. So we write as 2n. Let us move to the next question. 9a square plus 12a plus 4. Here we are going to multiply 9 and 4. It is 36. Let us find the factors. It is not necessary that you have to write all the factors of the given number. I just showed you 
what are the factors for 36 you can just directly write what are the numbers that gives you 12 so here only 6 plus 6 will give you 12 when we add it so I am taking 6 and dividing it by 9 since 9 is the coefficient of a a square when we divide it it is 2 by 3 so 3a because 3 is the denominator plus 2 and 3a plus 2 3a plus 2 and 3a plus 2 will give you 3a plus 2 the whole square I hope this is understood now let us see our traditional method in this how we did it is by finding out the factor and then taking the common out and then finding the factor for the given expression that is factorizing the expression here we are doing the same thing we are taking multiplying 4 and 25 find the factors and by checking the middle term we understood that it is 10 so now we are going to divide the 10 by 4 while dividing we will get 5 by 2 so we can write it as 2x minus sorry plus 5 same way 2x plus 5 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 5 will give you 2x plus 5 the whole square as it is twice you can check with the answer both these gives the same answer within two steps you found the answer here look at the rules given for the factorizations if you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe our channel thank you for watching